Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to crack another super shining super badge, which is nothing but a user authentication specialty super badge unit. So as we have completed all the prerequisite super badges for this, so today we are going to take up this challenge. So let's get started guys. So scroll down to challenge and click on a tag quiz. So we are going to find the solution for all the three quizzes given over here. So which password practice creates a high risk of compromising an account? So I guess option A which is a reusing password and multiple times. So let's skip to second part. What is the first step an admin must take to restrict access to APIs with connected apps? So probably we have to request that Salesforce support enable API access control in the organization. So let's go for option C and to ensure that group of user can only log in from a specific IP address, what must the admin configure? So for this we need a login IP ranges I guess so let's check this quiz now yeah so we have completed user authentication settings so let's go for MFA and SSO settings now so click on take quiz and Salesforce customers are required to use MFA to access Salesforce products. What is the one way to meet this requirement? So for this we have to ensure enforcement by an identity provider outside of Salesforce. So let's go for this option and skipping to second. Which fields from the user record can be selected for the SAML identity type? So I guess the option C. So let's go for option C. And what should an eligible user do first to enroll in Lightning login? We need to download and connect the Salesforce Authenticator app. So option A. Okay, now let's check the quiz. Yeah, we have passed this. Now let's go for user authentication, troubleshooting, take quiz. Where can an admin view SSO errors? So we can only possible to view all the SSO errors in login history. So how often can a temporary verification code be generated? So as we have already done this in previous video, so up to six times per hour per user so option c then identity verification history is used to monitor all of the following except so for this i guess uh, option d so let's go for option d now check the quiz to end 500 points yeah guys we have successfully completed this user authentication specially super badge so see you on next super badge so make sure you all subscribe to our channel until then bye bye